Okay, you guys are getting your assignments. Don't touch it, just leave it on your desk. your friend Matthew, but I'll take the bear though. Oh, thank God it was just a dream. Okay, class, put your papers right here. Centennial. This is your favorite host, Cami G. And David G. And as always, we have an amazing episode for you guys today. Camera rolling, action. Nature is beauty. We take advantage of that. In the U.S., transportation activities cause the most emissions at 29%. According to the EPA, a typical passenger vehicle emits 4.6 metric tons of CO2 annually. America, at the rate we're going, we can't get rid of the cars, but we can change what fuels them.
only one. I'd be one lucky duck for you to go to homecoming with me. Would you like to be my date? I think you're better off going to homecoming with me instead. Okay. I'm not going back there. I'm so excited for Hoko. Yes, me too. Do you have your outfits planned? No, wait, what are the themes again? Friday's Spirit Day, freshmen are gray, sophomores are white, juniors are blue, seniors are black. Go Knights! Skipping class is a bad habit for students. Overall, more than 20% high school students are chronically absent. Here we have two students in the same class. One is going to class and is prepared, while the other student is skipping class and not ready. We need to fix this habit before it becomes a problem. My name is Antonio Grant and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Centennial High School. Out of school, I still do a lot of things for school. I've always told my family, especially my daughter, that I, I appreciate their patience because a lot of things I do outside of school, include school, I'm on the way to school, leaving the school, doing something for a school. So it's, it's um, one of those things that can consume you. Originally grew up in Savannah, Georgia. Um, graduate from a school called Jenkins High School. Um, great experience. I was in ROTC in high school. Went straight from high school into the Marine Corps. Spent a few years in the Marine Corps. Um, did two tours to Iraq. Spent some time in Japan, Washington D.C., California, and gave me really gave me a really good foundation for uh, overcoming obstacles, um, leading, and just self-discipline, pushing myself to be my very best every day. I entered education. I was in my early 30s because I spent some time in the Marine Corps. Um, entered and my goal was to be a social studies teacher. That's really what I wanted to do. My favorite show is Grey's Anatomy. And I, 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 I enjoy that show because it, it gives me an opportunity to really spend some time with my little cousins. Um, I, I'm, I'm really big on family, so I, I really take opportunity every time I can to spend time with them. Um, it, it, it's been a, something that we can have a conversation about something that we can sit down and enjoy doing. My favorite artist is, well, my favorite rap artist is probably Lil Baby. Um, Charlie Wilson is absolutely my favorite artist. My name is Maggie Watson. I'm a senior and I am the drum major of our marching band. My name is Sasha Correa. I'm an 11th grader and I'm a drum major. My name is Charlotte Finley. I'm a senior and I'm the captain of the Color Guard. My name is MJ McConey. I'm in 10th grade and I'm part of the Color Guard. My name is Tristan Bartel. I'm a sophomore and um, I'm in percussion. I am Reggie Elcori. I am in 10th grade and I am part of Front Ensemble. What got me into marching band was I saw a show in the auditorium in my eighth grade year, and I decided to join because it looked really cool. I've had a bunch of friends telling me about the program. Ever since I was in middle school, I had seen clips of marching bands, like just in general, and I was thought, hey, that seems really cool. My favorite thing is like the friendships that we create and all the people and how nice they are and just the bonds that are created. 
My favorite thing about marching band overall is having a community that kind of like wants to s achieve the same things together. My funniest memory was that on our first home game, I had to yell really loud because the speakers weren't working. Funniest memory is probably when Mr. Everhart, the band director, um, did the fight song with us and held the pom-poms. Despite this being like my first year, I do remember like at the first game I got to go to, I saw just two kids trying to carry each other bridal style. And I was like, oh, hey, let me get in on that action. And I tried carrying this kid bridal style. I'm not very strong. I did not do it. I think I would encourage people to join by describing the friendships that people are able to make about the community that we're a part of. Like, it's so much fun if you just fully go for it. It's so much fun. Uh, my advice for rookies would be uh, to show up prepared and make sure to do proper etiquette for drill. Work hard. It's just a little hard, I'm not going to lie. And also, wear deodorant. Can I help you? This is my pod. Okay, well, not anymore. Who she thinks she is? Like, that is my pod. I've been in there since day one. AV1, first day in here. I wrote hieroglyphics in here and everything. Like, what is she even doing in here? Editing? Um, down a little bit. Actually, I am editing. I don't really know what he's talking about, but yeah. Let's settle this once and for all. I'm gonna ask Mr. Beekner. Yeah, no, Beekner like hates him. Yeah, Ma Max Kin, the, the guy with the hair and the glasses, tall. Yeah, he's he's not getting invited back next year. Alright, you like actually get out of my now? What? It's annoying at this point. My stuff is in here. Editing. This is my pod. Like From there one. There's this five is my other pod. open ones. Get out! Go to any other no, one. Guys, stop, stop, please. Tell her it's my pod. This is my point. I mean, technically, it is his pod, but he doesn't really do anything. He kind of just sits there and raps. I'm going to stay out of this. this is me Get out of my pod! 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 No, like, all he does is, like, sits around and eats, and, like, I don't, I mean, like, he literally does nothing ever. This is what I mean. Like, he's literally always, like, goofing off or doing something stupid. I think there's some accusations that I don't do my work. Personally, I think that's false. I've been gardening here every day. It may not make the loft, but, like, pff, I'm so grinding. No, those rumors are, like, completely true. Can you just leave? No. I'm done with this class. Okay. My name is uh, Mr. Wazgan, a.k.a. Coach W, a.k.a. Coach Dub, a.k.a. The Wizard of Waz. All right. I have been teaching for 30 years. The person that inspired me to be a teacher uh, would have been my eighth grade math teacher, Mr. Brzezinski, and my freshman year math teacher, Ms. Jeffries. The most rewarding 
part of being a teacher is uh, absolutely being able to help kids, um, being able to see kids grow and um, occasionally being able to terrorize you guys and go home and laugh about it. What would I be if I wasn't a teacher? Well, my first major in college was electrical engineering, so I could say that probably. I spend my summers playing golf, resting, doing what my wife tells me, and watching anime and making her mad because she doesn't understand why a 53-year-old would be watching cartoons. Oh, my goodness. Some shows that I've enjoyed. Uh, Baki, One Piece. Um, man, there are a ton of things that I've been watching on uh, Netflix and some other things. Basically, any um, Asian sci-fi, sorcery, or anime. Uh, the thing that I enjoy most about Centennial is that I absolutely love the kids, the community, the teachers. It's, a, it's really, really a fun place. Miller Cooley. Hey Centennial, this week's word of the week is melancholy. Melancholy is a feeling of pensive sadness and typically doesn't have an obvious cause. Try to use it in a sentence this week. <laughs> and you're watching The Loft. Good morning, Knights. Here for week six of The Loft, getting you a look into the near future. This is your Sen 10 weekly weather update brought to you again by the one, well, I guess not again, but the one and only K. And K. This Saturday is going to be sunny again with a high of 82 and a low of 58. We're at that time of year now where Georgia's weather decides to flip. This Sunday is also going to be sunny, again like the other weeks, with a high of 81 and a low of 58. People have been talking about this like blue mini creature. Have you seen it? Oh, that's Murph, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw it in like Coach Diaz's room. It's everywhere. Well, let's go over to Rory with the weather for today. Okay, y'all, I'm pretty sure we have a live audience today. They're staring at me through the window. It's fine. Anyway, the lowest today is going to be 59, and the highest is going to be 80. 80's normal. It's been pretty boring all week with the weather. Not much to talk about. But we are getting closer to homecoming. So, Spirit Week. I better see some good outfits, y'all. And if you don't dress up, come on. It's not that hard. Just dress up a little bit. Put on Aloha or something for Tuesday. Or wear a big baggy t-shirt for Adam Sandler Day. Just be fun, man. And see y'all next week. Happy Friday. And that's it for your Send 10 weekly weather update for this week. Hope we see you next week. Colorado football is overrated. I don't really watch football. Uh, I think Colorado football is definitely underrated. They are doing quite good this year. I think Deion Sanders is going to do some good things for that team. Averagely rated. They could be good this year. I think they're underrated. I think they have a really good chance of being good this year. Winter is underrated. Sit in your house, watch movies, drink hot chocolate. Winter is definitely overrated. Their fall and summer are just better. I think winter is most definitely overrated, especially in Georgia, because the only good things that come out of winter are like Christmas, Christmas break, and New Year's. Underrated. Uh, sitting at home with your friends or family, watching Christmas movies, and then opening gifts. Marvel movies are underrated. They put a lot of time and effort into it. Underrated. They take a lot of time to make. They are really good. All of the characters and story plot is amazing. I love Marvel movies, but I think that they are overrated because like they used to be really good, but like the more they make, the ca they're kind of just getting worse. Hi, I am from McCarty. I am the 
only German teacher here at Centennial, and I teach German 1, German 2, German 2 honors, German 3 honors, German 4 honors, and AP German every day. I would really recommend being a exchange student or to study abroad in Germany or to even go there as, um, as a tourist. It's a wonderful place. Lots of beautiful things to see. There's castles everywhere and um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. I studied abroad in Regensburg, Germany um, when I was in college and that was a very eye-opening experience for me. I had never lived abroad before. I really learned a lot about myself and about the culture. Um, and it was a wonderful experience and I highly recommend that anybody who has that opportunity to take it. One of my favorite holidays in Germany that we don't have in the US or is not as common is St. Martin's Day. Um, and I really like that holiday because it's nice to have a holiday where it's all about being kind to others, remembering um, people that you can help out in your community and you get the kids get to make lanterns and sing songs and I think that's really sweet. It is a controversial question, what's better, Germany or Austria? Um, but I lived in Austria for two years doing a Fulbright, so Austria is where part of my heart still lives, so I have to say Austria. My favorite German food is probably Sauerbraten, which is sort of like a roast with this really good sauce, or Kartoffelsalat, potato salad. Ich wünsche euch einen schönen Tag noch und ein schönes Wochenende. Tschüss! Guys, I'm so nervous for this class. Oh, wow, you guys are. This school is weird, man. So, I had no idea that there would be so many freshmen in AB2. And, um, yeah, it's a little weird. Um, these first few weeks have been um, an experience, certainly. Uh, it's been something. Uh, lots of excitement happening in AV, yeah. Yeah. I'm really excited about this class because I see how everybody loves this class and they work so hard. Like after school, in school, it's a great experience and it's just like, it feels like a great place to work. Uh, the freshmen in this class, they act kind of weird, you know, like, they're always trying to do over the top stuff. Hey, you put this away. I got it. I got it. You'll be back A lunch, B lunch. Okay. I'm so nervous for this class because all the upperclassmen are so intimidating. Yo, what is this? Bro, that's a microwave. Uh, Man, I really hope I'm impressing the teacher. <laughs> um, like, you saw what that kid was doing before. Like, get away from the cutout. I, I don't. Hey everybody, I'm Coach Birdsong, and this is Miss Beheimer. And we've got another chemistry experiment for you. If you're familiar with Mark Rober or Mr. Beast, you may be familiar with the elephant toothpaste experiment. And so that's what we're going to be demonstrating for you today. Miss Beheimer, will you please show them how it's done? All right, so we got some hydrogen peroxide, and we're going to rip it apart. See if it works. <laughs> yeah. This reaction is exothermic, meaning it gets hot. It didn't shoot up as much as it usually does. Do not try this at home. Thank you so much for watching The Loft. We will see you next week. I'm Bertie Vosch. And I'm Mason Capella. And you're watching CSPN. CSPN. Your Centennial football team had another loss last Friday against Westminster. Tonight we have an away game at Kell, so come out and show your support. Your star players from last week's Centennial game are Hunter Campbell, who had 323 passing yards and two passing touchdowns, Sean Syracuse, who had 130 receiving yards and a touchdown, and Jake Hickox, who had 65 receiving yards and a touchdown.
The Centennial softball team had two home games and an away game this week. Next week, they play a home game against Johns Creek, an away game against Chattahoochee, and a home game against Cambridge. That's it for this week's Centennial. Remember today we have our away game at Kel. Go support your team. Also remember that on Monday we start our Spirit Week, so please pick your best outfit. Go, Go Knights! Knights.